Hey, welcome back guys, and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about this uh, Android M launcher I've got here, made by Google, and I'm also going to be telling you how to get it, and I'm going to be just saying stuff about Google I.O., so let's get into it. So yeah, this is the Android M launcher, uh, it's pretty smooth, very similar to the Android L launcher, not going to lie, there's not much difference, there's a few little things, little um, improvements on the performance when scrolling from page to page, like this, there's a lot less frame drops like I had before. And also, when going into your Google Now section on the left, it's a lot smoother to go into, the animation is a lot smoother. And also, when you're scrolling up and down in that Google Now section, it's also very smooth there as well. And I find the loading times for things in that Google Now uh, section, like the cards and latest information, stuff like that, is a lot better than it was before. So Google have dramatically improved that. They're trying to improve the Google Now kind of experience. They're introducing Google Now on tap which allows you to get more information on what you're talking about. So if you're, say, messaging someone about a movie theater, then it will tell you about the movies and the latest movies and reviews, uh, stuff like that. They've also added some minor features where you can actually hold down on an icon and you can actually uninstall it from the home screen, which I guess is pretty cool. It's not really a big change, but they've added that before you had to go into the app drawer and drag it uh, into the home screen to uninstall it. So it's a little improvement, which could be fixed by a launcher, but hey, they've included it in their Google Now launcher. Um, it is a little bit of an extra feature, not really a big extra feature. So yeah, you'll probably have noticed by now the app drawer looks a lot different, and it does. Personally, I'm not that keen on it, but I do like this bit at the top here. Uh, this is basically your recent apps, what you've been using, and I like it. I like it a lot. It's very easy and quick to get into. If I was using something and I back out, I'm like, oh, I want to go back into it. It's very easy. It's at the top there. It's really good. Another thing is that it's really easy to find your apps. Now, as you notice, there's an A and C at the top. That's not just random. It's alphabeticalized in order in a list. So yeah, it's really easy to find your apps when going through them all. I've, I've spent a lot less time searching through. You also get a search bar, so you can narrow down your results and find your apps quicker. So yeah, overall, the improvements are a lot better. I like them. It's not a big improvement, maybe they'll include more improvements on the actual Android M, but for now, it's an improvement, and it's a lot smoother, a lot better. Battery life, not really changed for me, um, probably doesn't improve the battery life. It's still a launcher, rocking on top of your other launcher, and I like it. If you want the more stock experience with stock icons, I did do a video on that, on how to get that, so go check it out. It's the amazing icons app that allows you to do that and you get stock icons on your home screen or any other icon on your home screen from any other icon pack. So overall, I really do like it. See there, it's a lot smoother. I'll also leave a link so you can get the Google app enabled to get this. It's not the Google Now launcher you need updated, it's the Google app itself. So also I'll leave a link so you can get some Android M wallpapers like this one I'm rocking right now. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.